Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Josh with the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over List Yourself 401 Directory Assistance Business Phone Database. I know I've made several videos already about this topic, but I do encourage you to watch this till the end because I'm gonna also explain the importance of being listed in that database and a few other things that are 80% of the time overlooked by pretty much all of my viewers, my mentorship students, and even consultations that I do, they didn't think that they were that important, which to most people, honestly, they seem like they're not really that important. I'm gonna to explain to you why these things are very important to do. They're all free to do, it doesn't cost you anything. So before we get into that, please give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure all notifications are turned on. And if you're interested in my one-on-one -on -one business credit mentorship, I just recently created the client portal where every week I assign you, based on your situation, custom tasks, it could be applications, or just foundation things that you need to do. That's how I was able to get all those and stacks of cards I have here over 1.6 million in business credit in about 15, 16 months or so. So if you are interested, just text up there 937-423-9954. So let's get right into it. And again, please stay until then. I really appreciate it. And it does help the YouTube algorithm. Even if you already are listed in the business 401 directory assistance database, still stay because I'm going to add some other value things that you may not already know. So all business owners should be listed in the business directory assistance. So like Sankrony, it's notorious for requiring you to be listed in the directory assistance database. And that's a collaboration with say AT&T, Comcast, Spectrum, and Verizon of businesses. So if you're not already listed in that and you're getting denied, that could be one of the reasons why. So I'm going to jump over to the site. The link will be in the description below. It's pretty self-explanatory, but for this video and example, I'm going to just click on it and show you guys what it actually looks like. But I'm going to jump over to the PDF. So you can see here it says get listed in the 411 business phone directory, building business credit 2024. And then it's just kind of a description I put together. So it actually has steps. This is really cool. So you can see here, click create your free business 401 directory listing. It shows a screenshot, tells you what to click, individual or personal. And as you can see here, it's going through the steps. Enter your business phone number. I'm not gonna go through all this because it's kind of repetitive and self-explanatory, but like I said, the link will be in the description below where you can download the PDF and check it out for yourself. Let's go through the detailed instructions, manually input your company field name without relying on autofill features. A lot of people do that and that's why you get split files. Ensure that you type out exactly as it appears in your state filing. If you have an Experian business report or Nav Prime paid account, then you can refer to that as well. You always need to ensure consistency with the format that the agency has on file. Even though if it's a little different, you still want to follow that format. For instance, like if Experian has it road spelled out for your business address, road, and then you put RD on applications, you think it doesn't really matter. And it might not matter to a certain degree, but it does matter. Just keep it consistent across the board. You could end up getting a split file. Here it says business category. The reason why they're asking that is because also it's going to be put in a database and that's going to be associated with your NAT code or your SIC code. That's your business industry uh, standard code. That's a four to six digit code and that's going to dictate basically your risk rating within the business credit bureaus. And a lot of you guys may already know this. I'm just, you know, repeating it for those because I do get a lot of uh, new viewers that never watched any past content and they're brand new. They just formed their business and they have no idea. I assure you, you'll find some things helpful here as we get down here. I'm going over tips. So like I said, all this information is not just about the 401 business directory assistance signing up or getting listed. So I would definitely download this regardless because I'm giving a lot of good data out there about this stuff in general is for any and every application that you ever fill out for business credit. You can follow these same steps that I'm showing you here for get listed. It's still the same principles. Okay, so let's scroll down, pay close attention to the red underlined areas, the particular address format as it plays a crucial role in applications. I hate to be so repetitive, but like I said, 80% of my students or viewers that I've done consults with and reviewed their files, they have these issues and it got there for a reason. 99% of the time it's because the business owner rushed or didn't build up that foundation steps that I always preach about. So don't just try to skip and go to applications to get applied and then you get denied. Don't you know complain why you get denied if you didn't do these prerequisites that 
are vital that I would say 90% of people think that all those things are minor. They don't play a big role. And I will tell you, having an online presence is very crucial, especially with a couple underwriters, Synchrony in particular. So if you've got the reasoning, you've applied for the Sam's Club or Lowe's, the No PG Business MasterCard, and they came back and said that your business is unable to be verified. Well, 50% of the time, I would say, is because you're not listed in the business directory assistance database that, you know, is housed, you know, that is shared among uh, telephone, telecom providers. It's basically a signal factor to show how legitimate you are. But I promise you, those will help you. They, they do play a role into some underwriters' decisioning making on either approval or denial or the starting limit. So give yourself the best chance. Do it right. That's how I was able to get, you know, almost $2 million in business credit in a very short amount of time with a brand new LLC. If you guys are interested in my mentorship, it's there, 937-423-9954. I have the custom one-on-one -on -one client portal that I set up a couple weeks ago. Every week, I sign custom applications and tasks for you to do. So if you are interested, I do have more spots open. Text me, 937-423-9954. So anyways, here's another tip. I see this quite frequently as well. A lot of people may think, oh, having your own business uh, custom email address is common sense. But I'll tell you, a lot of business owners that I have as mentorship students, they started off, they only had a Gmail like abcplumbing at gmail.com. That's not going to fly. And it's going to be, it's like the same as having a 500 FICO score. It shows how professional you are to, especially FinTech underwriters. So, you know, I kind of put out here, stop here if you're using a free non business email address. I'm not going to explain all this to you. You can click the link below and read this. It's essential to understand building business credit is a journey, not a sprint. It demands consistent dedication and also most important of all, strategic planning on how you fill out these applications and when you fill out these applications. Don't try to hurry up and get the Paydex score or Intel experience score up to say 80 to 100 and then be like, oh, I'm going to go apply for the Sam's Club, no PG business MasterCard. You're probably going to get denied or a very low limit or get offered the low limit store card that's you know, not very helpful for you. Trust the process, follow along, and promise you will be successful at it. doesn't matter what your credit score is. Anyways, with all that being said, you guys take care. Again, give the video a thumbs up. If you're interested in my business credit one-on-one -on -one mentorship, right there, 937-423-9954. It is limited time, 30% off normal pricing for six and 12 weeks. All right. Bye.